In this video, I'll explain how to use inbound webhooks to send data from external services or systems into Taskade. We'll review how to set up an automation in Taskade to receive this data, and two very simple examples on how to send data from an external system. This will include an example from Postman and another example from an automation created in make.com. If this sounds useful to you, let's get started. So taking a look at this Taskade API webpage, we can see that Taskade can receive data sent to the webhook URL through parameters. The parameters all have to be a string type format and they can be utilized in other actions within the flow. Also, note that the parameter cannot contain any space characters. Here we see an example of this being the parameter, the name, and the value of that parameter being John. Two things to note here are that these webhooks can only be used through an automation, meaning you must have an automation set up in Taskade before you can utilize this functionality. The second is that at the moment, only inbound webhooks are supported, meaning you can only receive information or data into Taskade. If you wish to send information to an external system, then you can utilize an HTTP request, which are also available in Taskade, but that will not be covered in this video. Now, as mentioned before, to use webhooks in Taskade to receive data, we have to set up an automation beforehand. To do that, you can head over to any of the projects you have and go to the Automations tab. For this example, I'm going to set up an automation that brings in the body of an email with a specific subject as a task to one of my projects in Taskade. But before we look into that, let's create our automation first. To do that, I'm going to click here on Add Automation. I'm going to click on Start from Scratch. Here on the trigger, I'm going to select Webhook. And I get the kind of Webhook uh, workspace on the right hand with that, my Webhook URL. This is what we're going to use to send data to Taskade. And here is where we can start creating our parameters. So for example, let's say I wanted to bring in the email address of the person sending the email to me. I can type in email, so that's going to be one of my par parameters. And the next one is just going to be called text, and that's going to be the body of the email. To keep this simple, I'm going to delete this first parameter, and I'm only going to keep the text parameter right now. Notice that they're all type string, so as of right now, I can only send string type uh, data or values into Taskade. What do I want to do once I receive this data in Taskade? Well, I want to add a task. Where do I want to add this task? I want to add this task to the YouTube Ideas project. Uh, really doesn't matter which block to me. What do I want the task to contain? Well, I want it to contain the data in the text parameter. And I want to send it to the start of the block. As you can see, the automation in Taskade is very simple as long as you have the trigger set up as webhook trigger and you have the parameters that you need, uh, you'll be able to create an automation to receive data through webhooks. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to save changes and I'm going to turn this automation on. So now that we have an automation configured in Taskit to receive data, let's test it by sending some data from Postman. To recall, we have created an automation. As you see here, we didn't give it a name, so it's untitled. To add the body of an email or just text as a new task in the YouTube Ideas project. To test this automation or this webhook, I'm going to use Postman. If you're not familiar with it, Postman is a tool that helps developers and testers work with APIs or application programming interfaces. And in simple, in simple terms, it just allows you to test this kind of system integrations. Now, I'm not a huge expert or very technical when it comes to APIs and webhooks. So if you are more familiar with this type of content and you need to correct me on something or provide more context so that it benefits other people watching this video, please do so in the comments below. But for right now, let's take a look at what I have here in Postman. So to test this integration, I created a new HTTP request. You can do so by clicking here on the new button and selecting HTTP. I'm not going to do that as I already have one created. Here in the method, you are 
you're going to select post as you do want to post this data to the webhook URL provided in Taskade in your automation. Again, you can find that inside your automation. Within your webhook trigger, you'll see the URL right here. That's the URL you want to copy and paste in the post method. In the header section, you want to make sure um, that the content type is application slash JSON, as right now that's the only content type that's supported for these inbound webhooks. And we're going to keep the body very simple. So we're going to have an open and close bracket. And inside of that, we're going to have our parameter. Again, pay attention to capital letters. So if I go back to my automation, my webhook trigger, I see here that my parameter is just the word text, um, lowercase. So I need to make sure to keep it the same here in the body of my uh, post method. And then in quotation marks, I'm going to have the text or basically the data that I want to send to this inbound webhook in Taskade. In this case, it's just the text. This is an email body. Once I have that configured, I'll simply click on send. Postman will take this raw body and send it to the URL here in this field. And now if I go here into Taskgate, I'll go to runs. I see here right now it's 10.44 AM. I see that an integration was completed to 100%. Now let me go back to the projects. I see the YouTube Ideas project has been updated just a few seconds ago. Now open it up. And as you can see, the text that I had in the body of my call, this is an email body, is now displayed as a task. So I know that my integration is working as expected. Okay, so as of right now, very simple. We're just using the webhook URL provided by Taskade to do a post call. We have our parameter here set as text and then the data that we want to send in quotation marks after the parameter. So we've already tested this. We know it's working. Now let's now look at a more complex, if you will, um, integration. And this is going to be using make.com. So if you're not familiar with it, make.com is a visual platform that allows users to design, build, and automate tasks, workflows, apps, and systems. Basically, if you have used Zapier before, it's very similar to Zapier. It's just a platform that allows you to create these kind of integrations or automations between different platforms um, in a more simple way. So let's jump into make.com and I'll show you what I have created there. So I'm here in my dashboard in make.com. Now I won't get into a lot of details on make.com itself. One, because I'm not an expert. I just started using it literally like two weeks ago. And two, because it's not the purpose of this video. But again, this is just a platform that allows you to make integrations and automations between different systems. Uh, so far, I really liked it. Uh, it's a lot like Zapier, but I found it kind of more intuitive. Um, but yeah, so again, I'll show you what the automation or integration is that I created here. It's got basically three parts, right? So I'm watching my Gmail account or any email that has the word idea in capital letters in the subject. Then I, text, I, I take the text content or the body of that email and just turn it into a text string. Then I take that text and send it as an HTTP request, basically what we just saw in Postman, and send it to Taskade. Once Taskade receives this information, then it triggers the automation and it'll take this value in the text parameter and create a task in Taskade. So let's walk through this in a bit more detail. I will start with Gmail. And just FYI, I'm using an email kind of automation just as an example. I know Taskade provides uh, like kind of in-house integration directly into Gmail and you don't need to use make.com for that. But as of right now, that functionality covers all your emails, meaning you cannot filter for specific uh, subjects or specific uh, email addresses. Right now, if you use the Gmail integration in Taskade, it kind of looks at all your emails. So this is kind of a way to go around that. But obviously, instead of Gmail, this could be any other. Literally, they have over 1,800 apps that you can integrate with in make.com. So you can really be pulling data from any other system and turn that into a task in Taskade um, using this process. But here, what I'm doing is I'm connected to my Google account. 
I'm looking at the folder, basically my inbox or all the mail that I receive. Again, I'm looking at all the emails. And really, at the moment, the only filter I have is any email with the word idea. That's what I want to look at. You can also filter here by a specific sender email address if you want, or a phrase contained anywhere in the email. But as of right now, I only want to look at emails with the subject or with the word idea in the subject. And once that's done, I want to uh, mark those emails as read. And I want to process one email at a time with this automation. Okay, so that looks well. Then here you just add what it's called a text parser. Again, I'm not a huge technical expert, so feel free to add more context um, in some of these items in the comments. But here, all I'm doing is I'm taking the text content. If you see here, this parameter contains the um, body of the email, basically. I'm turning that into a simple text string. Then I'm sending that string as an HTTP request, and this is kind of what's relevant for Taskade. So the URL, again, it's going to be the webhook inbound URL found in our automation. I go back, webhook trigger, so this URL, that's what I need to be inputting here. The method, again, it's going to be a post call. The body type, it's going to be raw. Content type, remember I mentioned that as of right now, these inbound webhooks only take the JSON um, content type. The request content, so I want to send in curly brackets the parameter text and the data contained in that parameter or sent in that parameter is going to be the text that's coming from this text parser or basically the body of the email. The rest I can leave as is and just click OK. So let's go ahead and test this automation and I'll show you kind of what it looks like. Okay, so to test this automation, I'm going to send an email to myself. Again, the subject is going to include the word idea, and you can have other words in here. As long as it has the word idea, um, the automation should pick it up. So I'm going to say idea YouTube, and the body of the email is going to be this is an idea for a YouTube video. So at the end, my expectation is for this text to be a task in Taskade. I'm going to click send. I'm going to pause the video for a sec so you don't see my inbox. Okay, that email has been sent. It is now sitting in my inbox. I'm going to go ahead and run this automation. Right now it's scheduled to run every 15 minutes, but obviously we don't want to wait, so I'm going to run it once. And that scenario ran successfully. I'm going to look at the output of each of these modules just to kind of walk, walk you through the automation again. So here I see that it pulled the right email, so I see subject idea YouTube the text content or the body of the email, which is what we care about in this automation, is this is an idea for a YouTube video. So that's fine. It retrieved the right email. Here is just changing the HTML text in the body of the email to a regular uh, text string. And then it's going to send that. I need to look at the input. It's going to send that. So this is the call, basically, that is being sent to Taskade. So it's sending to this URL, which is our inbound webhook URL, sending the, the value or the data. This is an idea for a YouTube video. I close this. Let's go to Taskade. It runs. See here that at 10.56 AM, so just now, it ran successfully. We'll look at our projects, YouTube ideas. And as you can see, this is an idea for a YouTube video. So the automation is working correctly and we're able to send data to Taskade. So there you have it. This was a video on how to use the inbound webhook functionality in Taskade in order, in order to send data from an external system. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and like the video for more content like this. And if there's anything that can be improved or if you're using this type of automations already, uh, in another workflow, please do let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you're using uh, this functionality for, as it does give me more ideas on how to apply this to my own uh, work stream. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.